Hey. hey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Mud Political Podcast, where we talk about everything, never scared of anything, and we always for the culture. You got it right this time. I go by the name of Mikhail LaPred. Jay's here. Courtney's here. here. Sound man is sound manning elsewhere. I'm sound manning. Court, Courtney is sound manning. He wanted you to know that. And Nina Boom. making us look My crisp, crisp man. How y'all living, man? How y'all living? Huh? Well, I, oh, <laughs> damn. You looked at me and said y'all. Well, oh, I'm shit. Talking, how y'all Somebody living? Behind them? I mean, I'm good, I mean, man. Y'all had a, a, a terrible week. How do you Are know you? That? Oh, what? No, I know exactly what the fuck oh. he talk about. And Jay, I am See, off that hey, narcotic. No, 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 no. You, wait, wait, wait. Well, I, I am I off hey, that on, narcotic. I'll go into Sh- it. Shannon got on there with him. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon Sharp. Skip, skip. Hold on, skip. skip. Let me give him a call. Skip, uh, I think Shannon Sharp like white women, so I don't know. Maybe he's I not mean, credible source. He probably All I know do. is I think that shit was set up. That's I, all. It probably was. You told this man after. Oh, you on live TV? You on live TV, son? Like that shit was set up. I don't give a fuck. He said he. Why don't you tell the viewers? But we got enough. We we got enough. Just talking about Julio Jones. Talking about he out of Atlanta Falcons (laughs) because he he said I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I want to win because he want to play for a winner. That's that's why I didn't go to the Rams. We are winners. We just. Uh, just not final yet. You, know, you never don't know. know how to final. If he goes game, to the Rams, that would be oxymoronic. Yo, what? That would be an oxymoronic thing for him to do to go to the Rams. All right. Uh, if he goes to the Rams, I would, I would stop watching. If he goes to the Rams, you would stop, stop watching watch football. football. <laughs> I would stop watching football because this nigga would be insufferable. Because he would be no, like would. fucking happy as shit. I wouldn't even. Say I got Julio y'all. Jones. Who the fuck? Er. I wouldn't even say nothing. And, to y'all. Then he'll realize you, you Jared lie. Goff ain't even Matt Ryan. Don't lie, Jay. First of all, Jared Goff plays for the Lions now. So what you talking about? Who is your quarterback? Matthew Stafford. Say he has a pretty good quarterback. Him. though. Yeah, he okay. has a pretty good quarterback. All right. I give you that. Yeah, but y'all are all right. But he's also no. Nah, shut has up. Has he y'all ever won a playoff game ever in his career? He played for the Lions. Y'all are so all right. no. So that. no. He played for the Lions. So no. With Calvin Johnson, he never won one playoff game. No. Two, two people can't win a Super Bowl. So yeah, well, so I don't. Julio couldn't help him. All I know is you wouldn't All hear right. the last of Jay if Julio came over there. All right, it's not gonna happen. Like I said, I'm off that narcotics. You All can't right. bring me down back to the abyss, man. Let, okay. let, let the Falcons start winning again. Yeah, he gonna, he be, gonna back be right back on there. Oh shit! Hey, Where's my Falcons jersey? <laughs> Which is it? Them boys is playing right now. Hawks. Oh, the Hawks. Who they playing? Boys play? is playing. They're playing the Knicks. They won the first game, too. I know. I seen, I seen Trey the, Young with, Trey the, with Young the floater with for the wig. dub. Yeah, it ain't a wig. He just traded the barge. Whatever the he fuck the barge, that brother. shit is. He is, that he is shit is flapping a long, in the wind. He a long lost the barge. All so he all, needs is a mustache. So all that stuff is just making me have a great week. Well, the Hawks, yeah. I'm glad we you, can agree on the Hawks. I'm not going to yeah. say that. You know, the Braves, I mean, hmm. They cool, too. They're, Whatever. They're, they're, they're not playing great. That's cool. But they all right. I'm not a real. How was your week, nigga? You, at you. Oh, yeah, you, Jay. <laughs> oh, oh, I said it was great because of all the because of the suffering you saw from people around you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you a wild. It's not nigga. much yeah. suffering though. It's not. No, well, we got of, a lot of receiver talent. A lot of Atlanta niggas is upset. I'm not. If I was still a fan, I You'd would be, be crying. Upset. Yep. So I don't understand why you're not crying right now. Why would you be understand. crying if you were still a fan because he haven't finished the season three to four, you know, three to four seasons? What you mean, Julio? He stay hurt. He's the best player the Falcons have had since Michael Vick. Deion Sanders. What? I, I was going to say something Michael Vick. No, He's Michael better than Michael Vick. Vick. He's better than Michael Vick. Who's better than Michael right. Vick? As a fo- as At his position, Julio Jones is better than Michael Vick. Stop right. fucking playing with me, bro. He kind of is. Like, undeniably. Boy, I'm going to throw that mic at you. Anyway. I almost took this mic and threw it at you. Fuck you, nigga. Anyway, how was y'all's week? You're stupid. You was all right? I know no, you're fine, stupid. Man. I was. How was your week? You my good? my week was good until you said that stupid shit. Nah, it wasn't. Nothing. Just ruined my shit. You're All stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blink me? You stupid. <laughs> Anyway, man. But yo, so all right, so guys, we are. This is obviously the what the third was the third installment of the mental health series. Yep, I believe it is. Right, it was the second. It's no, the third. You, you missed the first, the first one, because yeah. you was being Army Boy. All I could be. All be you can be. All that you can be. But I know. Um, Doing shit. It's been crazy, man, because I've had a good amount of responses about that particular series, man. That's good. You know, just people appreciating. I had some folks out in California, like some older folks, too. They hit me up 
like I knew they had my number. They found it, apart from my dad. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> and uh, they're just talking about you know how they fuck with like the idea of that because at their at their age, you know they really weren't talking about stuff like that at that point. You know what I mean? As they don't want to talk about. It. Well, I mean, it was talk about it. It wasn't as crucial then as it is now. I mean, it's always been crucial. But back in like the seventies and eighties, nobody wasn't talking about mental health because they chose not to. No, nobody because, really thought about. Well, I mean, shit. no people think about it; they just don't want to talk about it. It wasn't. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't names put on on certain feelings. What name you got to put on? I'm talking about diagnosis and shit, bro. Like nobody was, was nobody shit. was walking around saying they suffer from anxiety. Nobody was walking around. That's saying true. They were they still depressed. calling niggas retarded clinically. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. But if I you know got that, something Courtney. going on, I know mentally something you're stressed. I know, but I'm mentally, saying mentally you got something going on. Like I'm not yeah, you diagnosing right. you, but I know what you're saying. But it's just you like, right. Uh, well, they just we, didn't want to talk about it. They didn't know how to talk about it. That's true. Well, how about this? Because we do know how to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Let me ask y'all, man. Let me get a temperature check, man. One to ten. How you feeling right now? This week, man. How you feeling today? One to ten. Ten being the absolute best. One being yo fuck this. I want to go now. Where you at? Tell no. I said like what last week. I was at like a fucking. You said something really trash. Fucking trash as fuck. I was like, low as fuck. You said like a one. Like but he was on suicide watch. Slick, slick. He said some wild shit. Where you at, man? One to ten right now, man. Where you think I'm at? I don't, I, how, I, nigga, how do I we think don't know. God. And the only reason, no, the only reason I ask is because we can tell mm-hmm. our energies. Like when something going on with you, yeah. something going on with you, something going on with me, we're like, hey, we show up. It's supposed to be pod day. We're supposed to be excited. We're supposed to be doing our thing. Well, we can tell our energy. If you, you want know folks what? to guess, I think you're at a... A seven today. I was gonna say eight. You're at eight. I was gonna say something high too, for no other reason than there's lots of good filming going on this weekend. It is. I know that's a happy thing. It's a happy. It's always a happy thing when you you know that's that's a stress reliever. You feel me? So I figured you'd be high, but is it just because of that? No, it's not just because of that. I had a good week. Okay. I got to shoot guns. Okay. But okay, so that's that's like you know pretty like topic. That's 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 pretty like surface level. So like what. What else makes that this a good week? You know, outside of just like I got to I do wasn't some really fun stressing activities. This week. I wasn't really stressing this week. I let all that shit go this week. I was like, fuck that. I'm not doing this the past weeks I've been doing. Did you let it go or did you work through it? That's a big difference. I talked about it. Okay. Okay. I let that shit go. I talked to someone and let that shit go. Hey, Wonderful. That's why I like to hear that, my brother. What, what, what are y'all? Temperature checks. Jay? I'm probably like a 10, bro. I'm good. Oh, shit, nigga. This is the best time of your life. I'm good, man. My last day of Let me work. get some money. Oh, there I don't you. have no money. Damn. The last you day said of 10. Work this is a good, this is the best time ever. I don't have no money. <laughs> oh, no money. I'm on leave the whole month of June. Hey. Baby going to be here in about two weeks. Hey. Baby Kari. Like, I'm good. Hey. I'm good. Congratulations, man. Can't I'm glad you. It. I'm glad that you, like, up there, man. Damn, yeah, I, man. I didn't expect to hear 10. That's that's that a hell of a fucking. I mean, shit. look, that's a you know, that's a that's a hundred percent. Every too, like, everybody yeah, got a lot I'm of there. shit they going through. Yeah, but you can't let everything just yeah destroy you know, bring your world. You, down. Okay. you can't you can't let everything fuck with your mental. You got to mm-hmm. think about it, all the positive things you got coming. Yeah, and without you gotta, and you got to you got to live life, bro, because the shit ain't gonna stop. Facts. The sun gonna come up in the morning, Ooh. bro. So Facts. you just you, you can't dwell on what's going on. Just because the sun come up don't make you gonna feel good. But you alive. Yeah. Debbie Downer. Shit. No, I was just saying. He's being that. honest. I, I yeah. appreciate that. Sometimes you wake up and you be like, why that. the fuck am I here? No, you never fact. asked yourself that question? Not that one. I mean, like, oh, shit. I just, I'm going to kill myself. I'm just saying, like, damn. Like, <laughs> like have, I, have I reached my potential at the age I'm at? Oh, like, well, certain well, things. Like, well, well, yeah. Some, can I do more some, for myself? Sometimes shit I, like I, that. I woke up and been like, damn, okay, what, what else? Yeah. Because every age you hit. If you hit that the next year, it's like, whew, have I reached my worth? Can I do more? Like you ask yourself those questions. Yeah, That's but all you I'm know, saying. you know what I think about? Like if if I, if those thoughts ever go through my head, mm-hmm. I think about you know all all the people who are like maybe celebrities or people who who are, who are doing good in life. Yep. Like take Oprah, Samuel L. Jackson, Morgan Freeman. Motherfucker. They ain't. They really ain't get started and. True. Get their shit popping until they was about forty. Especially Morgan Freeman. Or fifty. Like we still have a lot of life to live, bro. Like quick we, side note. 
this is a little ridiculous, oh, but do y'all pronounce the like the the last part of Samuel Jackson's name? Because I've never heard anybody enunciate I'd say his Samuel. name. Samuel, like it's it's always the whole thing, but it's never Samuel L. I've never heard a nigga I really. Samuel L. Jackson. Have you ever heard a nigga Samuel L. Jackson? No. Samuel L. I don't even Sam- pay attention. It's to that Samuel L. Jackson. Really Samuel it's L. Jackson. Samuel, L. nigga. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. I'm I just say I've never heard I anybody say actually say it. Come out, bro. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. That's it. That's a good point. Nobody says it. <laughs> I've never heard him say it. That's his point. He don't. All you hear is he knows his name. Bad, I was, man, I, I cut off your eloquent no, point, you good. man. You I good. fucked you no, up. Good, no, no, bro. I was done with it. Cause we, done cause with we it. never had, okay, once again, how was your week? You know. Uh, Where does your heat check, You know what's sir? funny, man? This whole time I asked that question, I was like, I hope this shit don't get back to me. We're just coming to the fucking Oh, point. no, it's going to come back to you. Fuck. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, uh-huh. it's complicated. Was your heat check as tight as your pants today? What's up? Oof. Oh, shit. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Okay. You dirty Samuel. man. Samuel. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to give myself like a seven. A rolling, really, it's, it's like a, it's it's between a six and a seven. You know, I'm not great. I'm all right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I got a lot of things on my mind that I feel like need to still be worked out. You know, I don't, I'm like, I'm at the point like where it's almost normal for me not to sleep a full night. Mm. You, you know hit, what I mean? You hit a point there. you like, that's always a good indicator for me that I'm not doing good or like not doing as good as I could be doing. Even though if I can like tangibly look around and be like, you know, this is on point. This is taken care of. Okay. I have a handle on this, but there's always, sometimes it's just like something else nagging you. Right. Mm-hmm. And you can't always put a finger on it, you know, immediately. But recently, man, I've just been like going to bed at like two a.m., waking up at five. Damn, I have too. So walking am around I really a seven and not a ten, bro. I mean, that's I don't know if that's a bad thing for you oh. though. You know, it may not be a bad thing for you. For me, that's like a because uh, I'm I'm a pacer, right? So if I'm up, I'm, we I'm, seen I'm I'm out pace. Been plenty of times we done rolled up your ass, be pacing up and down. Shit. Yeah, I pace. I, I pace all the time. Doing? Well, I, I do outside. with no <laughs> shoes on, bro. She be out there barefoot. Like, what, you okay? <laughs> what is he I'm doing with his, his jujitsu pants on, bro? <laughs> That's hilarious. I want you to know you painting a lot of lies for the viewers, but that is fucking hilarious. He got a whole gi on. What the yeah, fuck? He walking around with his. He has a belt. <laughs> He ready to do some karate on the bro, next nigga that walked through the street. I saw this nigga roundhouse kick a fucking a firefly. <laughs> I'm probably done that. that seven, though. Think I mean, honestly, man, like, like I said, it's between six and the seven. I mean, I'm not doing bad, you know. I think I'm always, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm so hard on myself, right? You know, I'm 29 years old, and I feel like there are certain goals I had in, like set for myself, right? Certain. um I guess you could say metrics mm-hmm. that I had already put up way long ago. And maybe they're foolish metrics. Maybe they're idealistic method, metrics that I've had before, right? But nonetheless, they're still imprinted, right? Some A big part, I guess, on some level, my identity is attached to the metrics I've set for myself. Mm-hmm. So if I feel like those metrics aren't being reached at the in the way that I thought, then on some level, my identity is in question. Who I believe myself to be, right? That is understandable. Well, who do you believe yourself to be, Kill? Well, that's a good ass question, ain't it? Wow. Tip your uh, Corona uh, light. Premiere. No, that ain't paying us. Fuck. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think who? That's a really tough question. Who do I? Who do I view myself to be or think of myself as? You know, I think of myself as someone that. Damn. I mean, at this point, I think that's that's the conflict, right? The conflict is that I, I'm struggling to identify where I'm at and, ex- and embrace it and then take that healthy next step as opposed to, you know, understanding my circumstance. And, you know, I still move forward and I still apply myself. It's just with a different motivation, right? My, my motivation is more out of, like, shame and, like, anger and shit as opposed to, like, I just want to be the best me I can be. That shit ain't what I'm where I'm at right now. That's not the place in life I'm in right now. That's mm-hmm. not the mental I'm in right now. You know what I mean? And it's not healthy, but it's all I got. 
And if I don't have nothing, shit, I'm gonna be sitting on my ass. How far you think you're gonna make if you don't know who you are? It's a good question. I mean, I don't you know, that's a good question. That's a great question. I think it's I think where I'm at right now, I'm in a place where who I am is evolving. And I haven't fully got my head around how I've been changing. Does that, that make sense? So I've, I've it makes sense. I'm 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 changing. I'm I'm morphing into this new person and this person that maybe I didn't exactly see. Are you but scared? Maybe, maybe yeah. You know, I'm, maybe I'm scared that the new person that I'm becoming is not the person that is going to accomplish all those goals that I set. Mm. Right? Did you have a like a certain plan? Yeah. Like, as far as like plans change, you know, just like the way you want to mm-hmm. go about things. Absolutely. You've yeah. gotten older. You yeah. get, you've gotten a little wiser. Mm-hmm. Them plans might need to be altered just a little bit. Yeah. To fit your new, uh, I don't know, mature outlook. No, I whatever. agree. You know no, I saying? agree. Like, it's been a real process mm-hmm. of that's been probably the, my biggest maturation process in the last couple years is that right there. Mm-hmm. That's been a the biggest thing pill for me to swallow. And the biggest thing that I need to understand and adjust and really embrace because it's not about I, I think I think the journey is still probably headed in the same place, but I think it's just looking different than I thought it would look. Mm-hmm. And it's throwing me off thinking like, damn, maybe I'm not headed there in the same way I thought, you know, because it it may present itself differently than I initially anticipated. And recently that's what I've been up at night in those days thinking about like maybe I'm just Things just look so different than I thought they would look. Things don't, you know, like, damn, like, I thought it would be boom, 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 right? And that's a simplistic way of viewing things, right? Yeah. But, you I know. I don't mean to cut you off. I just want you to ask this question. Are you scared? Yeah, I said a little bit. A little bit. I mean, I think, yeah, I think I'd be crazy where I'm at right now not to have any level of fear. The fear doesn't stop me, but... Yeah, on some level, there's a level of fear about what's what's next. What are you scared of? Um, just be real. I just no, I'm, no. I mean, these are good questions. Just be real. And this just, is our time to a, get our shit out. Nah, facts. Every I think, fucking I think Wednesday, for me, man, I think out. I think I'm afraid. Why you got to curse so hard? I think <laughs> we cuss hard. It's fucking serious. What the fuck? It's over with now. Jeez, we People can't don't you remember, this shit. You remember when you anymore. you remember you told him not to cuss at your uh, is an engagement party. You remember that shit. Yeah, he was loud, bro. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> stop, you cussed at him. Tell him stop cussing. It was hilarious. <laughs> bro, was too much. Stop motherfucking cussing so much. Like, That's I'm grown sorry. folks out here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Old I'm folks sorry, out bro. there. He like motherfucking that, motherfucking that. Sorry, bro. I'll stop cussing, though. Shit. It's out of our respect. You, yeah, you, you, you can't be scared. Right thing. To cuss at him, bro. You can't be fucking scared. <laughs> he only respects one thing. Other he cussing. Scared, bro. Nah, but I think I think my, my biggest, probably my biggest fear is just not not accomplishing all the things I set out to accomplish. That's my biggest. I mean, you're not going to accomplish all your goals, of course. Yeah, and that's that's the scary part. I think you I really think you like worried about what people going to think. You think so? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I I, I got a lot of people Even though you get um, that persona you don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. But at the same time you give a fuck like, mm-hmm. oh shit. Yeah. I think there's definitely I don't know. So when I when I embarked even on this whole journey in entertainment, right? I had a That's lot of people different level of shit right that um, supported me, or even I didn't even have so much like in like a, like just straight up doubt. It was just okay, and like even even before that, like I was always had people support. Like you're gonna do great things one way or the other. You're gonna figure something out. They, like I always had people trying to put me in positions, trying to give me encouraging words. They, they saw something and they just kept saying it. And I guess I always felt like I don't want to. And I, I I I embrace it and I accepted that that situation. I just never wanted to be a, in a place where I've all those people that might have thought, you know, I was going to do one, you know, do you know great things, you know, were disappointed in me. You know, I never yeah. wanted to feel that. And I, at some points, I feel it. I'm like, damn, I'm like 29 years old, bro. I know yeah. that's not old for everybody in this room because we got some old ass niggas in this room. <laughs> but for me. <laughs> I've only, this is my first time. I, I, I ain't seen past 29, so I don't know what's after that. I don't know anything about it. I mean, and I get where you kind of come from. Because, so, like, where you come from is like, oh, shit. I've been 
hit with this. Hell. Like my mom be telling me all the time. I got to do with like a lot of mental shit. Like, how are you going to do stuff differently how I did it? Do better than me. How are you going to do it better than me? How are you going to do it differently? And it's like, oh, shit, you hit me with a lot of shit right now, mom. Like, I'm only seven years old. I was hit with that shit early. Yeah. How am I going to do shit different? I got to be the one to change all this shit? Wow. But as I get older, choose your own path. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about what people think. Your mm-hmm. mom going to have some certain things she got to say. Your dad, your stepdad, whoever, however you grew up with, whoever you grew up with. Like, I get it. You know, I get it. You're going to worry about what people think. But I'm at the point where it's like, fuck, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it the right way and how I'm going to do it. And my way is going to work. And I'm going yeah. not, to not to be an asshole. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to shit on my parents. No, that's how I think. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how I'm supposed to think. Like, you're supposed to do better. I mean, hopefully. I got to. This is my goal to be better than y'all. That's the idea. Y'all taught me so much to do. Y'all might have not been the right path or whatever. I'm going to shit on y'all. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I guess to to your point, there's like, it's like a weird dichotomy I have that exists within me, right? So on one level, I've been very like anti for a, lot, a big part of my life, right? I'm super anti. I'm always, like, doing shit my own way. At the same time... Young Malcolm. At the same time, I also... You really call him Malcolm? Don't want In to... Head, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, at the same time, I don't want to... I don't know. Like, I, I want to live up to certain expectations because those were good expectations. Like, I, I want to be... No, you have great expectations. You know? So it's like, that's what I want. I want to live up to that shit. So it's like, I, you know, I, I want to... Because I, I, I always wanted to believe what they said I could you be. You want to make some controversy out of this shit? Uh-oh. Have you seen your house? <laughs> yeah, I've lived in it. <sighs> I wrote that shit. I was like, God damn! He's talking, talking about my parents. He's talking about my parents' I know house. that, but I was just like, house. shit, I wish. What does it look like? Does it look like new, new house in ATL? Nigga, he got turf in the back. Pool in the back. Like, damn, turf. you got a lot to live up to. I know okay. where you're coming from. A lot of niggas have pools. You, Nick, you no, have turf. This nigga got turf. That's Statues. That's that St. Pius, boy. He has a lot to live up to. I get what he come from. It's like, bruh, nigga, I know what you where you at. But you, you can't live for them. You got to live for yourself. Make your own way. Yeah. You're just scared. You're scared. So, I mean, but, you know, maybe. And I think that's part of. I know maybe. I, it's it's not it's not like straight fear. It's it's a little bit more complex than fear. It's kind of like yeah. it's kind of like um, I just don't want to. I'm afraid to do specific things. Like I'm afraid to to not afraid to move. Not afraid to try. Not afraid to continue to strive. Just more like damn. Like what if it doesn't hit like I thought? Like you're cautious. Yeah, you're like, very cautious. Like, what if this don't fuck? Hit? What if this don't hit, man? What if, what if all these things that I'm trying to do don't hit, and all the things that I've, I, you know, my, my, my folks will, you know, hit you up. People hit you up. Yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. What if none of those hit, and I'm just that nigga who's always trying to do something, and that shit is the most. That shit scares the fuck out. Bro, you still discovering yourself. Bro. I don't want to be the nigga like who's that. always trying. Always, it's the, always got a new. A new hustle always got, but it's still nothing never you hit. Like I don't you never want to be that. Still discovering bro. yourself. Fuck. You still discovering yourself, bro. Just call it what it is. You gotta keep I, going, bro. You still in your twenties. I mean, you closer you to the goddamn thirties. You closer. about to be. You about to be in your early thirties, Mikael. You keep still it going. Dis- you're still discovering yourself. Look, man, I hear you, but it ain't cute being twenty nine, almost thirty, trying yeah. to discover yourself. As long as you do that shit before you like forty. What? You're good. I this know a nigga, nigga that's 45. 40. No, I know a nigga that's 45. See, that's the to bullshit. Himself, that's why niggas OJ be fucking 40, up right there. You, Look at Nina's face. She's like, nigga, really? <laughs> you ain't even hit 30 yet. Oh, no. That's you said what? 33. He said, no niggas is growing to you 33. Nah, that's, that's a lie. crazy. That's a fucking lie. He said it clicks on that's a like a light bulb Maybe, at 33. Because I don't that's know, Nina. I haven't lie. gotten there yet. I don't that's know. That's a fucking lie. I don't know how he thinks it's a lie. No, we my have, boy. We have an audience. No, that's cool. Come on. No, I'm saying, come put the right. headphones on, put the mic on. Well, let's do this. I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. 
I don't do agree this. with that because my, my motherfucking I'm gonna say this my motherfucking uh, uncle about to turn fucking 41. Yeah, and he's still fucking around with dumbass bitches <laughs> doing his thing. But I get that. But it's about where you want to go and mentally where you at. You know what I'm saying? When you catch your, uh, when you getting on, you gonna get on. I you want you to get your shit you off. You got to get one in the corner. I want you to get your shit off. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't agree with that. Age is nothing but a number. What mentally, what you've been through, and where you've been at, and what you're going through, and how you handle it. Yeah, shit changed. Yeah, my body fucking up, like my back and shit. But I've already, I, I, I had, I had to catch up. What I'm saying, and I had, to, I had to hold on, on. I mentally had to catch up with a lot of shit on the through. I had, I had, to, I had to grow up real quick. And a couple of y'all know in this, this fucking room, like I mentally had to fucking my political podcast. get my shit. I had to get my right. shit right at an early age. Y'all know. I already told y'all. I, like I don't give a fuck about the age shit. Yeah. When, once you get to an age and some shit happened, we just like okay. Yeah, I gotta learn my shit yeah. early. Yeah, let me go through my shit. Let me go out here and do my little thing. But like, okay, get my shit right. I start getting my shit right around 27, 28. Get my credit right. Oh, I, wealth, yeah, no, facts, investing, facts. all that. I don't give a fuck about no age shit. Where you mentally at? I feel you. Don't you love it? When fuck we, about that. Don't shit. you love I it when we argue with folks off mic? Shit. Yes. Isn't that great? Me shit so okay, nobody really here, but we they going just, off. They just know <laughs> no, no, no. Going age on. On you. I don't give a fuck about that shit. But wait, no. No, when when you when you when you fucking seventeen or six, we'll sixteen, fuck seventeen. About shit. Wait, wait, bro, hold on. <laughs> you think you think you're gonna be grown by the time you're 22, 23. Right? That's true. If you that's ask a good a, point. If you ask that's a, a good 16, point. 17 that's a good year point. old, that's a good when point. do you think you're grown? You They're gonna be shit. like, oh, no, but that's a good 25. point. He's making a good point. He's making a great point. But you ain't dealt with shit. Exactly. You don't know because you haven't got. You can't there. know. I can't know that thirty three is not going to be the spot know. if I've never reached. You it. don't know. Now, I get your point. Is. I get the point. Have you dealt with shit before? Then hey, I'm gonna be honest yes, with you, bro. Wrong people. Hey, shit. hey, on some real shit, bro. I thought I was gonna make it out of high school, bro. I thought is I was that... gonna be Kwame out this bitch. Shout hey. out to Kwame Brown. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Please be nice to that nigga. Right yo, now. yo, you're my best friend. <laughs> That nigga went off. <laughs> Please you know, come on this podcast, Kwame. You know, you might have thought you was going to be. He probably will fuck with it, though. Hey, you, we, you, we got we to gotta have to take a drive down to South. You're talking for a road trip. Anybody down to South Georgia? I'm I ain't going it. to Brunswick. Y'all can't. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> but, you, but you probably did think you was going to be the shit when you bro. got out of high school, bro. turned 18, 19. Bro. You thought you was going to pop. I didn't think I was going to finish college. I started hitting pilots and TV shows. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm going to quit school. Yeah. This shit going to hit. I'm going to be that nigga. You and, think that's and none it. of them and pilots then, got picked up. And, and then I was like, boom, this a bro. Bitch. Like, it's, it's a wrap. I was like, I knew I was going to be that nigga. It's a wrap. Like you, I knew it. Like I said, it's been on you, what you been doing. I don't never got to do this college shit no, no more. No, but when you become like, when you turn 50, it's going to be different shit, bro. Like the shit you're going through. You stuck your ways in them ages. You don't give Look, a fuck bro, about Maybe. That. You could. Me a you lot might of times. be, yeah, but like life still is, learn. you know, everybody lives a different life, bro. I don't know. When you, when you everybody, reach. Everybody, you just said everybody live a different life. Right. Depending on what you the fuck you done been through. Right. When you reach 50, the stuff you're going through now is going to, that you're thinking about now, like it's, you're going to look back and be like, Okay, that that wasn't that wasn't shit. Okay, because mm. when you think about it, bro, when you the shit you went through when you was 21, 22, yeah, you look back at it now, you like, nigga, what the fuck was I tripping about? That's true. Especially you don't with do women. that. Especially you don't do that, women. Courtney. You don't do that. You don't look back to, to when you were twenty one. Of say, course he did. He gave a fucking like, promise on, ring. Of exactly. course he looks like, back. Damn. Like fuck. Come on now, here. bro. Of course he you does. look at you look at shit differently when you get older. You, like I said, when you turn thirty one, nigga, shit is tilapia. gonna be completely different. Like I said, farm rate, yup, because niggas was on that, nigga. I know I was. <laughs> like I said, not I, like, I like love where though. we at with this fucking pot. Yeah, had spaghetti. With I it love too. it. I did what I did, but I dealt with some <laughs> shit and I seen some shit where it's like, oh yeah, shit, facts, I have facts. to grow up. But yeah, I'm gonna deal with my shit. <laughs> yeah. when I decided to move my parents' house, but that shit's still in the back of my mind where it's still yeah. fucking me up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing that shit to to the day today. Yeah. Facts. Like and I get you, it. And yeah, when you I turn, know everybody, yeah, you're 33, you're 34, you're 40, and, yeah. And when you, you know turn 33, when you decide it's to set in that day, too. you wake up, it's like, I gotta change some shit. You gonna have to change some it's shit. It's not when just you turn for 33. me, but it's for the people I've been, oh, fuck you, fuck you. I don't forgive you. But then you forgive them, you call them, I forgive you. All right, that's what's up. I love you. Oh, that's what's up. All right. They don't apologize. You apologize for them. You forgive them. Whatever it may be. I done 
I don't let all that shit go, but it still affected me yesterday and day. But hey, I don't give a fuck about no age. So did you really let it go? I hey, let it go. Hey, hey. Of course, maybe I want to throw hands with this person. Yeah. Gordon, hey. Okay, hey. bro. Don't you don't hey. have to throw hands I love you, with brother. little man. I love myself and I love you. But I'm just still. <laughs> Why was that your first? I love me too, nigga. Like, damn. What the fuck, nigga? Fucking ego, goddamn. It has nothing to do with age, man. When you decide to just change some shit the day you wake up or just have an epiphany, it's like, oh shit. I want to change this shit. I want to change this shit just for me. Fuck everybody else. I feel that. Well, fuck everybody else. That's all I'm saying. And don't think about that shit. Think about what the fuck you got going on. And what you want to change with you, of course, and where you want to go. That's what I'm saying. I've done don't let, that. Don't I've let been that, doing it. If you let that shit linger in the back of your head, it's always gonna be there. I don't let it linger. You just said you did. I said I let it linger. But if I call somebody, you weren't listening because I, you know this shit. Don't you're play. Saying, don't saying, play stupid. You're saying let in the past tense. I get what you're saying. Don't play stupid because I didn't told you. you I made calls. And I said, hey man, I forgive you. But yeah, like I still want to throw hands if you want to. It's just some goofy shit that I do. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do that. You invited a man to your hands. But I'm saying it's just goofy <laughs> shit I do. But I'm going to call somebody and say, I forgive you. Yeah, you fucked me up in the end, but I decided to let it shit go. I just want to tell you shit. But if you want to throw hands, we can do that. This is why we do playing. this, man. But you know what I'm saying? What shit, I'm nigga, saying. I know who you're talking about, nigga. Just throw hands, nah, It's not just that person, fucking but nigga, I'm, just I'm just saying. Backyard, individuals nigga. just think about, about that shit. About, nigga. Just go think to about the fucking backyard. And I'm fucking just saying, individually, as a person, people put an age on. Just think about the shit. All right. Just think well, about it. That's fair. We'll, we'll put. We'll, we'll think about it. Let's. We I'll gotta move on too. All right, all right, all right. So obviously, you know. Moving on and all that good stuff, we, we we had to bring in we had to bring in the big guns. We had to bring in yeah. we had to bring in someone that could bring some bring some some sense to this pod, man. Kevin Samuel Jr. No, yeah. That's at, my at, uncle. That's get the camera Kevin, on. Kevin Samuel is his uncle, allegedly. <laughs> we trying to figure that out still. We got twenty three of me out on the case. You feel me? Um, at another dot Joe on mm-hmm. IG, you can follow him right now, man. Mm-hmm. Brother, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm ready to get into this. Uh, he's been look honestly, y'all. He's been sitting on the side the whole time, like ready know, to get his shit off. Like he's been yeah. waiting for months. Oh, word! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I've been listening to y'all niggas. And each and every last Young one of you niggas is wrong. And I think this is the uh, perfect conversation for somebody like me because for mental health. Yeah, because you know I've been I've dealt with major depression. I've I'm a suicide survivor. Um, oh, wow. You know, I'm actually in counseling right now as we speak. But, you know, I've been diagnosed with major depression, mm-hmm. anxiety, social anxiety. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, by a doctor. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, and I've been through a lot with this whole mental health thing. So, I can, like, add a little insight. I no. I feel about yeah. this subject. No, yeah, I appreciate you sure, coming, man. brother. That's why I'm glad no, you're we here, definitely bro. do, man. We definitely appreciate you. Um, I've been waiting for this. Y'all, know, <laughs> y'all don't know how happy I am. Jay been talking Bro it up this is whole on time. here right now. First yeah, of all, know, my work. my guy, you know, he quiet. I'm quiet. What? But my boy, no, I am quiet. My boy Naquan is quiet, and I'm so glad that he's he's here to express himself. Yeah, get me on the right subject. I talk yeah, head off. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I love it. I heard you uh, restore sneakers too, like yeah. a motherfucker. Yeah, I do it just as a hobby right now. I'm a sneaker collector. You know what I'm saying? How many sneakers do you have? Shit, probably like about seventy or eighty right now. Damn, I thought you, you know. were gonna say like three hundred, four hundred. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm gonna be there one day. Though. <laughs> Fact, seventy, right. 70 or eighty is a lot. I got it is a lot. I, I got three pair. I got about. <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> damn sneakers only, and have like and they're not 10, even. Five, you know, I can seven. barely wear them hoes. This nigga got seventy eight. He could just put on. Probably got he like clean. forty pairs. He clean. Clean. He clean right yeah. now. Zoom in he on the kids. Nah, 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 he is. He said, I clean, nigga. Did what you mean? restore them shoes he got on your feet right now? Oh, nah, nah. I was gonna wear some, but I decided not to. I want to, you know, I guess clean up a little bit for the podcast. I appreciate. Oh, yeah. it. If y'all need bit. y'all shoes restored, hit my boy up. You know. What I'm oh yeah. I, I, I yeah, bet. How much you charge? He uh, said he wasn't charging yet. He said uh, he was just oh, doing it as a yeah, hobby. Oh, yeah, doing right he said you wasn't listening, nigga. I'm I mean, still, I'm still perfecting my craft. He's perfecting the craft. You gotta let you know. You know what I'm saying? Where you think let your him. craft at? Ooh, one to ten. It's for, ooh. See, 
it's hard because it's like it seems like oh just over the past couple of weeks I've gotten better. So uh, it just I guess it just I guess from right now probably about a five. You know, okay, I could, I could be better. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I take it at. seriously. I I really love it. It's not like I'm trying to do this to get money. It's doing because I really love sneakers hey, and you know the I art. It. And all, you know, I, I can't wait to see what a ten look like. Boy, I got one way to go. From what you be posting, bro, I would hand this dude a piece of shit sneaker. Be like, hey, fix it. Yeah, I you love, do every I, I love I love bringing life back to sneakers. Yeah. It it depends. Like I said, like every is, you know with sneakers is different technology. So it's like it's it's basically it's, it just goes off experience. Okay. Yeah, know? yeah. Okay. So that's that's the whole point facts, of me. Facts, facts. Yeah, I'm trying to, to give get you my thirteens, bro. You could do with those. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was actually telling uh, your sister about how I, I could do that for. I do it for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm hey. saying? I know. I, I'll just wait. I'll just wait to give them to you. That's oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wasn't even gonna ask, bro. I was just gonna pull up, say here. Oh, my hey. sneaker. And you, and, you, and you already Yo. gonna know what to do. Yeah. I wouldn't have to ask you. So bro. what do you yeah. what do you go by, brother? I know we talked about at at you know we, we, we plugged your Instagram handle, mm-hmm. man. Tell me, tell the people what you go by in, in your everyday life, not oh, your Instagram just, handle. Just Naquan. Just Naquan. Bet. You know bet. Yeah. Well, hey. you by Q. Nah. <laughs> um, no. Q. And and I'm a, um my day hey, job. Cool. I'm a um Q in there. I'm a, I'm a garbage man. I'm a city worker. So you bet. know I'm not nobody special. Just an average nigga. Hey, man, you get nah. You, know you have oh, a nah, nine bro. to five nah, job. Wait doing a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, anybody that right. says that's nobody special has never had missed a trash two weeks in a row and wait. realized, yo, this is the worst <laughs> living ever. I've <laughs> never wait. wanted to live so ghetto in my life. <laughs> two when you have missed your trash day two weeks, what the fuck? You got three weeks of trash in your. But I what? never miss two weeks. And you just hoping, like, hey, bro, just please, just I know it's not in the box, in the thing, but just can you please just throw it in there? Come on, yeah. man. Damn, I ain't never work with me. You got a regular I job, have. making it legally. You doing your thing, brother? Yeah. Ain't no shit. You know sh- hey, and keep doing what you doing. Which is another brother. reason why I think I might be good for this topic. You know, what I'm okay, saying? because I'm going I like through it. I like it. A lot of the stuff that y'all are talking about. Cause, yeah, you know, yeah, like for instance, what you was talking about, like not feeling. Like you know where you're supposed to be at a mm-hmm. certain age or whatever. Like yeah. so I went through that around the same age when I was yeah. like about twenty eight, twenty nine. I'm just sitting. I went into even, you know, a deeper depression. Like yo, I'm I'm only I'm I'm about to be thirty and I'm still living in a one bedroom apartment and making thirty grand a year. I'm supposed to be, you know, I should be doing this and I'm on Instagram seeing motherfuckers I went to high school with, you know, doing big things. Yeah. But now I you know I don't even look at it like that. I look at it like everybody's sort of journey is kind of different my philosophy really is like there's no blueprint to this shit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying motherfuckers can find their way like when they're fucking 50 i truly believe that because i've seen it happen you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying ain't no so, age range too right you know what i'm saying but it's just it's i think it's just all relative to you know your your blueprint yeah you know i mean so obviously I, I, first of all, I agree with that. that. That's inspiring for me. It's 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 reassuring for me to hear at this point where I'm at right now. Um, as far as well, obviously you heard we doing temperature checks, man. We gotta you gotta give us your own temperature check, man. Where you at right now? One to ten. Probably about a, a six because it's rent week. You know, I don't <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I say about a facts, six, but facts, it's facts. my girlfriend's birthday, so you know it, it's, hey, it's shout it's, out Cody. You know, his so who's sister. your girlfriend? Is he is he is she related to yeah, that's one of his, our co stars? This may be my brother in law in the future. I don't oh, know yet. Maybe, hey, maybe. We still, we still hopefully te- we still oh. testing them out. It's all, dep- it's all <laughs> depends on her. It shall have you. It shall have you. You know what I'm saying? But it's a cool dude, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, you know, I say about six or seven. About know. six or seven. That's good. That's good. But is, is that just because it's rent week, or is there anything else external not making it? Like, what 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 could have made it a ten? You know what I mean? Shit, if it wasn't rent week and okay. I had some money, because <laughs> yeah. you know, I took off work, you know, from for my girlfriend's birthday. Yeah, so yeah. you know, that was but, you know, just yeah, rent and niggas ain't really got money like that. True. True. I'd probably be a ten next week though. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. I, I know. Um, and I don't know. You, do you have any kids? Nah, no kids. I know. Cordy got some kids. <laughs> no mm. kid. Don't Once you kids, have kid, you have cool. kids. No, 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 no. Nah. If it's one, it's hey, one. Don't go to Cordy house. He got kids. When he goldfish at- all over the floor. <laughs> I do not have no kids. Bro, I can't wait till kid. there's fucking sour Child. punch straws in the back seat of your car, bro. I can't wait till I find them motherfuckers, them sticky motherfuckers. Where you in the can't back pull out. Brother. You have multiple motherfuckers. Who like him? <laughs> like I said, 
oh, many okay. times on this podcast. Not if my four hundred dollars has anything to do with it, Courtney. That means bitch. He, that means he's not having kids. I'm not having them. Not unplanned, at least. That's terrible. Yours was planned, right? Let's move on. So, anyway. <laughs> Shot the club up. Uh, <laughs> ain't say shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it'll be fine. She's not ovulating. <laughs> hey, bro, look at Cody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't shit. I hate that Cody, bro. Ain't shit. Nah, but I know you were uh, you were talking about something. I know you wanted to to bring something up. I know we were talking about it last week. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, well, you remember? Do you remember? Can you stop being so butthurt and talk about it? I can't, I can't help with <laughs> Cody be doing some <laughs> shit. See, we have people in the background, ladies and gentlemen. You can't see it, but I we see it. I wish you could. We see it. Buddy, buddy. Ugly buddy, buddy. Go ahead. But I know um, you were talking, I know you were discussing kind of the effects of I know you just, you know, your your kids, she's, what, seven months now? She's about to turn seven months. About to turn seven months, which is a blessing. On the fourth. Jay, you finna have a baby. Bro. Boy, in two weeks, bro. I mean, basically, I was just talking about the fucking, uh, mm-hmm. damn, I've been cussing a lot on this spot. Yeah, you got to calm it down, brother. Mm, I guess I've been in my feelings now, I guess. I, I, I believe so. Really? Yeah. I think we all have. That's part I of the, that's part of, people. no, it's I not, it's nothing to apologize for, for uh, man. It's nothing to apologize for. But I can't help it. it. I'm sorry. But I'm just, uh, you know, from the perspective of me being in the game a little bit, you know, I think I'm in like what? In the child third game? Third quarter. I think I'm in the third quarter. Third quarter no, or what? Not. No, you're not. You know, you're nigga, less okay, than I'm the first. Se- I'm in, I'm in second quarter. In, no, bitch, you're in the pregame. Bro, you in, you in the warm-up Summer up league? Line. You're in I'm the, in summer league. You're in the warm-up line for the draft no, you're in the warm, No, no, you're in the warm-up line. You, you're doing, you're doing. I've been, I've been kind of getting used to the shit. Brother. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody close to the fourth quarter until the. Okay, you're, I'm you're in, in a the, summer league. Courtney, can I be honest yeah, with you? Right. What you're in pre-draft workouts. Yep. W- what is he then? Nigga, I'm in college. He's he's <laughs> all right. Cool. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> Nigga, I'm hoping I make it. I, said, I hope I can make maybe be good enough I'm, to get I'm, to the I'm, league. I'm hoping I can make it to right. the league, yeah, college, bro. You, you already in the workouts, nigga. Yeah, you already a prospect. You Shit. know, like, you already okay, NFL, a prospect NBA and, caliber. You know, yeah. But uh, draft day for me is in two weeks. But what were you saying though? What were you I'm saying about? I mean, I'm at, it's the mental where I'm at dealing with what I'm dealing with, and then you just getting ready for like. Mm. So you're talking about like like baby body just just on I'm the way. Saying, mm. So you, are you saying like how parenthood and obviously for Jay perspective parenthood uh, like has how is it affect what that effect has on mental health and us being niggas that don't got no kids, I'm fully prepared. To laugh, but continue. What? Yeah, I'm not here to be. I'm not here to be supportive about your mental health with kids. I'm sorry. I I don't know, man. I'm just the worst nigga. Go ahead. Just say what you guys. Close your mouth, man. That's probably how we started. Supposed to be like you know. I'm sorry. Supposed to be babysitting this shit. I can't have a baby up here with you talking about. Fuck you doing over here? No. When first of all, first of all, Rylan loves me. When did you get that? But babysitting? Because when the the day I met her. You I'm remember? Sorry. I ain't leaving Kari over here. At bro. Leon. <laughs> you remember at the restaurant? What happened? Can't keep her eyes off me because she knew this is a, this is a good nigga right here. I should get to know this nigga. Uncle. That's what she said. I sleep want to move up to the next subject. Already, huh? That's messed up, brother. You don't think I could be good with chilling? No. Kids actually love me. No, they don't. The funny we thing is, a nigga that don't want kids, kid love me. It's weird. Hits you, it's weird, bro. Crying, first of all, like, we didn't even uh, think Courtney was gonna be back. good with kids. First of all, I'm, I ain't move. gonna lie though. When I first held Rylan, I had her arms out like this. Like, I know you was I'm like, like this. What I do with this? Court- uh, hey, Courtney used to not even touch kids, bro. Boy, he just look I, at him, be like, uh, nah, I ain't touching it. I ain't doing it. His hands on his hips, like, what you doing, bro? What you want me to do with that? Like, man, it was weird seeing him hold his baby. I, ain't I mean, lie. Like, I I mean like, well, let's get into it. Like the mental state right now is just like, mm, this is a lot you got to deal with. Yeah, that, that first one coming out, this is like, oh shit. Yeah. Ah, how do I hold you? How do I feed you? Like, well, got to put you to sleep. It's like, ah. Talk to me this. Talk to me about shit. this. Talk to me about this. As a parent, as a young parent, a new parent, you know, how has that af- affected your psyche, your mental health since Rylan was born? It, it it makes me think of the future, how I'm going to be. Ooh, that that that's my main thing. Yeah, you have to you have to think about now. But it makes me think like how I'm gonna react when damn, I went through this, 
You said what? No, no I'm I'm not talking to you. Go, Go ahead. ahead. I ain't hearing nothing. I, yeah, heard I wasn't talking to you. That's why. No, it made me think about the future in all aspects. Like, you know, what was I here doing in the streets? Like, how did I react to this? Who was I hanging out with? What they house did you I go girls to? girls when you've been a dog-ass nigga. I didn't That's say I was a dog-ass nigga. Ruh, bro, look, look at J-Face. Wow, Please zoom quiet in quiet on here? J-Face. Why did it oh, get quiet in here? Why did it get quiet in Keep here? Keep talking, Courtney. Nah, 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 nah. Jay? <laughs> I've heard that. Before. I, 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 it just make you think about the future. <clears throat> why didn't you have kids? Be See, real. Because I can't afford it. That's real. <laughs> that's real. No, that's real talk, bro. Not only that. That's real talk. Not only that, you know, I have four nephews. You know, my sister had her first when she was 17. Mm. Then she had another. You know, she got four. Mm. So it's like I saw how it is. So it's like the reason why I don't have is because, you know, at one point I didn't want them. Yeah. So now that I'm in a relationship, I kind of think about it more. Mm. But still, it's what like. What you trying to say? <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Don't don't get the wrong idea now. <laughs> you know what I'm don't get the wrong idea. If it, no, if, it, just, if it ever happens, that's like down I, the line. Hey bro, I'm just know. playing, bro. Everybody, but anyway, everybody grow, bro. bro. <laughs> but anyway, wow. it's it's really for me. You know, it, it's you really I just here doing shit. I just care. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yeah. It's, it's just really the money. His sister. <laughs> and I see I see how it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, just and it's like. You know, at this age, of course, maturing, you know, yeah. one of the things that really kind of changed my perspective with kids is like, you know, as I've gotten older and I've gotten to like where my parents were, where they was with me, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of like just look back and it's like, dang, they went through all of this when they was, you know, because my mom had me, she was 22. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking back like, bro, how she deal with all of this plus having kids, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I guess my thing is really I just want to make sure. I mean, I've heard that you're never ready ready to oh, have no, kids. You're never gonna be ready. Yeah. But I feel like you can be as ready as possible though. True. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like of course you I'm never you. can be financially ready or mentally ready, but it's always better to be more ready than you were, you know, I guess a year ago or mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, yeah. Bro, cuz look, cuz I ain't ready at all. Oh, yeah. I mean, what they've been telling me is like no, you gotta get close. No, you good. Nigga, talk, bro. Talk about me? No, no. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. No, no. My bad. I'm just making sure. You're good. I bro. can't make sure. You're good, brother. Go ahead. I hate y'all. So you were saying you were fucking talking about something? What the fuck? I was I just thought my mic was close enough. No, you're doing a good job, brother. I hate you. I hope what I was saying. You never, fifth. you never really think about yourself anymore. When you have kids? When you have a kid, it's not about you anymore. See, it's I'm scared really of that. See, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm scared of that too. That's another thing you. too. It's like it's not about yourself. I feel, I feel like I still have some more life to live before yes. I just give, you know, just give that all up. Because I know that's the case when you have kids. It's no longer about you. I mean, so yeah. it's, it's like I f still kind of want to enjoy, right? You know, my life, myself, and then because and then plus, I, I mean, this is an unpopular opinion, but I think like I you know, this. older. The older you are, the better parent you might be because you're more mature. You have more mm. life experience. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with being a young parent, a, a, a old older parent. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But you know, because like a lot of people feel like you know, oh, if you you have kids after this age, you know, blah, blah. I feel like play with them and shit like that. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I feel like it's better because it's like you don't got all the shit out your system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You don't want it. All you want to do is fucking be the best parent for that. Probably got more kid. money too. Right. Yep. That. That yep. too. Yep. I was getting to that. I was getting. <laughs> there. You're you're more financially stable. You know. Mm -hmm. You're more mature, etc. So. Yeah. You know. But I guess that that that's all. You know. Depends on who you know the person. Because some some people might want to be a young parent. You know. Yeah. what I'm saying that's just my opinion. Yeah. You know. So. I mean, I've definitely heard folks that want to be young parents because they want. To like be through with parenthood, they want to get it over with, and then they don't want to have their life still. They don't mm -hmm. want to be sixty with a with a seventeen year old. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know, like my my parents, my, mean, parents, my parents in their sixties with a twenty one year old, and you know, at twenty one, you in, in college, you're yeah. not like self sufficient. Right. You're still on the payroll. Yeah, you still right, a, like still a kid. You on the payroll? <laughs> you know what I'm still saying? A kid. You still come out of the check mm -hmm. every month, like oh, this motherfucker. What you need, Ali? Oh, okay. it's, it's, yeah, I called you out, nigga. It all just—I think it all just depends <laughs> on the the person. Like you know, mm -hmm. like I said, it goes back to this. There's no blueprint to it. You no, know it's what not. I'm saying? 
Yeah, I, I, have I like my money too much too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can, can I like be money, real? But, but I'm gonna say I like this. my time. You know I like how you be like freedom. You, you, you can make time. You, you can make time, but it's all about balance because what what I, what my, my parents was telling me, especially my mom, um, and what I heard like when from my homies when they had their dreams and aspirations when they have a kid, I had to stop all of that. And I was like, how can I be different? I've heard two things. Hold on. Like how how can I how can I make that different? Because I'm still out here. Y'all see me. Still acting, still doing what I gotta do, but I make I make time and I have a balance, like, oh, my baby and my career and my passion. I agree. I'm not gonna let what I've been doing for since seventh, eighth grade, I'm not letting it go. Yeah. Because I know if I stop now, it's it's done. Facts. Because I've seen it happen with so many Boy, people. I'm, I'm not letting I, it happen. I, I, the best I actors I know don't act anymore, bro. That's what I'm saying. The best actors I know have quit. I ran because, into a lot of people. Because they have a kid. Oh, my, my dreams is done because I have a kid. No, bro, I'm not letting it happen. The, I, I'm industry, the industry will kill a great actor before their talent runs out. Right? Like, I've known I, the best actors I have ever seen that I know personally do not act. They used to act. They used to be. I used to be like, yo, how I get like you? I used to be trying to chase them. And then all of a sudden, it just slowed down for him for because of life, because of kids, because of all these different things. I'm just saying. I don't and how does it, that? How does so? Here's the thing, you know, if someone like quill like you know, kills their goals or like you know alters their goals and alters you know what they wanted to do because of you know a child. I mean, that's gotta affect your mental. Yeah, right. I don't I, sleep, I was, bro. I was about to say like. Um, I think it boils down to like a priority shift. Mm -hmm. Like I disagree with, I mean, I agree with not just c killing your dreams completely, yeah, yeah. but not, like it's going to have, I, I mean, it's going to have to go to the back burner because yeah. you know, the kid is the number one. Once you had a baby, it's number one. It's like, yeah. but it, what are you teaching your kid? I mean, Ooh, you you, you teaching you your teaching kid, your kid? You're, you're teaching, you're putting all your energy into making sure your kid is good. Exactly. You know, nobody's saying, nobody's saying that you should give up your dreams, but it's going to have to be a priority shift if you want to be a decent parent. It's a priority shift, but it's a balance shift, too. I like, mean, how do you I, balance your shit? I guess you're you, just going to give up your dreams just because you, uh, you have a kid. You just got to, oh, shit, I'm done with this shit. I got to put all my priorities and, and, in you. Yes, it's a balance, though. Cause I understand. Yeah, cause I, I feel you. I ran into that with, with my mom. Like, she want to be a modeler. A model. I said, I was about to say modeler like fucking Mr. Brown. She want to be a model. And she was like, oh, I had you. I didn't want to do that shit no more. I, was I like, feel you, but I guess it's like it goes back to the priority shit because my me, I'm scared, you know, I like sneakers and clothes and mm. fashion and shit. And I'm scared, like, once I had kids, I ain't going to be able to afford that shit no more. A balance. Like, you we know need what to I'm design saying? our merch, by the way. You know, that shit be kind of fine. <laughs> it's I a balance, man. That, that's, that's what I'm scared of. But, you know, because I know, like I said, I've seen, you know, my sister with her kids. And, you know, but then again, I'm still not a parent. You can only... Yeah. Speculate, yeah. Yeah, you so can only much. speculate. So, I, yeah, I agree with you that you shouldn't kill your dreams, but it's it's, it's going to have to be a oh, priority shit. Dead, shift. Yeah. So like, I'm, and it, I, it goes back to what you said too. Is it, but you got to have a balance, like you know. Got to have balance, cause I, I didn't like, and I'm gonna say this. I recently, I'm gonna have some big auditions come my way, but I was like, okay, I don't have time to do that, cause I've been on the go. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday, I know I got this shit going on. Okay, mm -hmm. I got this shit going on this weekend. Where do I have the time to put that in there? Where I got to audition for this, and they want me to audition, but I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I have to make time for my baby girl. Right. Right. You got to make time. Some shit you got to let go, but you can't let it go fully. Let but make go. time for yourself and let it go. Yeah, you got to make that's your, another key thing. You get that kid. you got to make time for yourself and your partner or that will that's, fuck we will fuck that's with the your thing mental. Too. So what if you're in a committed relationship? So you had to make time for the kid, you got to make time for the relationship, and then you got to mm -hmm. somehow pinch in a little bit of time for your own it dreams goes and back to the priority shit. But that's tough. It's all about balance, balance, bro. At that point, nigga, I just you just can't sleep. Right. Fuck you, but baby. I agree. I'm I'm I still with you. Sleeping, I'm still bro. with you. I'm not. I, you know. I ain't even like, sleeping like having like not sleep. having kids. I just love the freedom. Period. I love the freedom to be and able to get up when I want to. Because you know you had kids. They have all this energy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like about it. You, you know can't really Wait sleep. Wait till in. she's like two. Yeah, you can't you really finna, sleep. You finna in. be like yeah. <laughs> you gotta take them to the park. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You know you gotta after work when you want to wind down. You gotta cook and True. you know what I'm saying. I just. <laughs> I cherish my freedom. Like to me, 
Facts, like facts, my, facts, my, facts. my one of the biggest thing that I just I'm so afraid to giving up is like when I get off of work and I go home to an empty quiet apartment Hold and on. I'm able to just kick off my I'm a, shoes. I'm a, right. Bitch, you said that, Quan. <laughs> I'ma say this. When you have someone that respects that and when you get off work, you work an eight hour shift, twelve hour shift, mm. whatever shift you work. As soon as you get off, you come in the house, smoke your cigar, smoke whatever you're doing. Hey, you look drink. You had your moment to just release, and they don't say shit to you. Take a shower after that. It was like, okay, I'm ready to talk now. Ain't nothing like having that. I feel that. See, like I said, I don't, like know, I don't know anything about that. I'm just like, you know, speaking from my, a childless person, you know what I'm saying? That's like the thing I cherish, like anything, just the peace yeah. and the freedom. Oh, yeah, facts. To get up and go. I don't have to worry about somebody watching this little motherfucker or like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I could just go. Or if I want to go out to eat, I got to get a motherfucking Watch kiss. Me. Motherfucker. I'm sorry for cursing a lot, but I'm no, just saying. It's no, okay. you could, no one can beat Corey. Yeah, nobody can beat what, what he be saying. Bro. Go ahead, brother. But yeah, like, you know, this this is things like that, you know, and it's like, yeah, that's, that's really the thing with me. Kids. That's what kept me from having them. And to me, you know, I, I've always been very careful, you know, because like I said, I saw early what it's like to be a parent yeah, with had, my sister. You had, you had a, a, he said, a natural pull out form. game is pull strong. Pull out game is strong. Oh, I was just about to say that shit. You had an early Jeez. form of a birth control. Like, like, I think, let me get out. Let me just go ahead and give me a bath real quick. For yeah. I, need, I was finishing the shower. Yeah, so. like still to this day, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's oh, hilarious. Man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, brother. I'm just go saying ahead. like to this day, like I just was, I've always been very careful. You know what I'm saying? Because that was always Facts. on the top of my mind. I never got so Facts. into some, you know, to, some viscosity. To the, to the, the, the viscosity! In order, in, in order, he said the viscosity! I, I, I don't want, I'm trying that's not to curse. That's the SAT word. No, viscosity, that's, that's, the, that's the thickness of the lubricant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. The wet, wet. I never got so into that to where I like, you know, was like, oh, well, I'm going to just, this you know, I'm going to bust all off of it. So, you know, potentially, at, nah. Nah. I don't know how comfortable I am with this conversation. Saying, I don't know. This is right, Jay, uh, Jay, uh, can I be honest? Hold on, hold on. Before uh, we let say we, anything we else, end. Jay, uh, fuck this. You you haven't said a bitch ass thing because somebody been over here goddamn. No. Wait a minute. What you hold been on. doing the last wait a minute. Pause. No, nah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do your thing. Hold on. Pause, hold on. Let me, hold on. I'm gonna let you have oh, it after this. But wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Shut up. Go ahead, Jay. So so it's your turn. Go ahead. Wait. Get your shit off. What was the original? We're talking about how prospective parenthood has it has that affected your mental health yet, or are you just like in an elated state because like I'm gonna have a kid? Um, I'm floating. Oh, you're like, in elated. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, I'm you're elated. on cloud nine. Not cloud, look at you. Not cloud nine, but you know, like my head is every, like I gotta get a new job, bro. Like my job is going true. away the week the baby's That's born. True. Like, that That's is true. That is a completely different facts. You know, feeling like I've been I got that on my mind. That's real. And now I got to worry about how I'm going to take care of this kid. And bro. you still attend mentally. You a real yeah. nigga for that, bro. You're a very mentally bro, you strong have to. person. Cause you I a be, real nigga for that. You have to, bro. Like, I be telling folks what's going on. They be looking at me like, nigga, how the fuck you still Did, I said that to breathing. Cody when she was telling me about your situation. I'm like, bro, I wish I could be like you mentally. <laughs> 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 nigga, Yo. I bug out like if, like, you know, just off of like some simple shit. Like, yeah. I be worried just if I don't, I don't know. Get like have to pay extra on gas or some shit. I don't right, know this right, little right. shit. The gas yeah. shortage has all fucked up. Though. Yeah. But, but like when he she told me about what happened, you I'm like, bro, he damn, I feel for him, man. He good. I'm like, yeah, that, that nigga, nigga lit. Hell, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I wish I could be like yo. But I guess that kind of circles back to you know the difference in mental health. Like you're probably better off mentally than me. I you know I deal with anxiety. So I mean, like I'd be on a thousand right now. I don't know. I look at it like. I mean, I'll, any, nigga, I'll, any nigga in blue sweatpants is is, is very confident. <laughs> any nigga. I would. I did not think he was gonna go there. <laughs> and I was trying to be serious. I was trying to be serious. <sighs> you not gonna take that nigga out? This nigga uh, talking to me. He the let's paint, stay on the subject. Go he, back. Go he the painted his fucking khakis on his goddamn. <laughs> All right. With the sushi socks, bitch. Fuck you, mean. Yeah. Sashimi, bitch. Who the fuck wear that shit? But got me. White boys. But Which version of LeBron's are those? Let's move on. The team ones? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> 
But anyway, see, nigga, I don't let shit bother me, bro. I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about. That's what not this true. Got That's not say. true. If yeah. y'all watch no. the next ep, the last episode, you got you got hurt on the GPA talk. It oh, hurt you. Well, that's because you went to St. Pius and you think you better than everybody because you went to school with white people, but whatever. And that's all you fucking know. This nigga swear he got down. <sighs> all right, let me bring it back. Oh, well, I'm going to say. But uh, I'm, are you up. still at a 10? I'm, <laughs> gonna, yeah, I'm, damn, I'm still damn. at a 10. <laughs> but I'm still come. good, bro. Oh, like, I love this nigga. This you, can't, nigga. You, can't, you, can't let, you can't let shit like that in life slow you down because if you do, like, you really going to be in a funk. And you really going to be messed up. And, and you I, really going to... You going to be fucked up. And like, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. I'm yeah. just now starting to learn that at 33, mm-hmm. that I'm just... You know, you can't, like, let... Like, it, you just got to... Like, what I've kind of learned is, is kind of, like, just focus on the positive. Like, like yeah. today I was explaining to my girlfriend... Mm-hmm. That you know, I was really feeling like shit, but I'm like, oh, I just gotta make it through the next week and I'll be all right. And that kind of just boosts my mood up yeah. a little bit. That kind of took me to the next level. Like, yeah, just make it to next week and you'll be all right, you know. Or I have another philosophy like, if I'm having a bad day, nine times out of ten, by the end of the day, I'm gonna be feeling better. Mm-hmm. So I'm just now starting to learn that, but it's still like I've been so many years, I've been like just you know, just panicky about the littlest things, just I'm worrying about littlest things. Just, you know, it's 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 hard to just switch and just be that positive. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially like with major life changing shit like having a baby or you know, trying to find another well, job. Well, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I was tripping when I first found out. Like the shit was hard. Yeah. When I yeah. first found out, nigga, like I oh. nigga, I got off the fucking uh I left the meeting yeah. with the judge, nigga, and I went home. <laughs> like I was in front of him, I was good, bro. Boy, nigga, I went struggling. home, nigga. I just dropped everything. Yeah. And I was Nigga, I might have, I might have, I might have puffed on something. I don't know, but I'll, I'll let not y'all know that. After the I'm, state. Yeah, shut up. It's not the state; it's the county. But whatever. Right, I'm, I'm gone from that shit. The now. government. Okay. Yeah, the government. I'm, I'm gone from that shit now on Friday, so it really don't matter no more. It don't. But you know, whatever, whatever happened after he told me. But <laughs> you know, I was good. Like I, I, I got into a, a, a good state of mind. I made me a little plan. Like, I ain't write it out, but I had a plan in my head. Like, okay, I got to do this. I got to make sure Shanae is all right. right. You know, because she was, what, like five, six months pregnant, bro, and I knew the time was coming. I couldn't panic and, and be around her. Wait, she was five, six months pregnant when you found out? No. That I, that I that I wasn't going to have a job in July, oh, bro. Oh, my fault. I missed you got book sense, but no common sense. None, bro. Like, God damn. God damn. Dumb niggas always like to say you ain't got no common sense. Bro. You just oh, so you found out when she was five. I just five, did. Six, I just was, I just missed that. That, that was, her stomach didn't grow. That was a Courtney statement, bro. For real, <laughs> that was that's something Courtney would say. But, but, but I ain't saying. Yeah, I'm. Su- I'm surprised. That's, that's shade on you. That's what you didn't know. He I know, but you was a dumbass that said it. But <laughs> as far as like stupid, the you feel good about that, don't you? Because you was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> This is what they well, do. As far as like situ- like situations like that, I think the key to that too to really help you is like a support system, somebody who kind of yeah. understands, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying like how you might handle things. Like you, know, I could, cause I could feel you how you was just thinking about like you planning everything. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying for your future, and you don't want to panic in front of um Shanae and everything. You want to like, Thanks. but in your mind, it's like, yo, what the fuck? But you know, I think the key to that too, like to help with that, is like somebody who's like really supportive. Like, yo, we, you know, I know shit is fucked up, but we gonna get through this. You mm-hmm. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, and that helped a lot. Thank you, thank you to my uh, boy. I was about to ask a question. I was like, when you say it, yo, queen. When you, when you come home, Quan, you know what I'm saying? When she come through, you I'm go telling through. you, she done got me through a lot. When, of when shit. you, when you having a fucked up day. And she show up. How do you feel? I ain't gonna lie. Every time I see your girl, she always dancing. And every clip I see, oh, that's, that's always, that's always. Yeah, that's yeah, always. She, she dancing right now. Like how, she, how you feel when she come through, man? It's lightning, bro. <laughs> it's like it got, kind of goes like back to this is, this is this is this kind of like I, I guess I want to touch on the whole support thing. Like, Talk about you, it, man. You know, like because I could think of times where I was just really like, yo, just. Bugging out because I have like again I have bad anxiety so right. like if something happens I'm like on a thousand I can't you know she'll take the time and just be like okay Quan calm down look mm. it's gonna be cool you know what I'm saying I'm here whatever you need it's just like mm. 
they they if somebody like really understands your mental health like how bad it can be or how bad it can get they'll you yeah, know me, make man. make make getting you right their priority or one of your real. priorities wow, wow, and wow, then that's wow. that's that's out really, there. That's, that's, wow. that's 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 really real though. that's real that's real it's really comforting especially like going out into the world you know dealing with the world as a man too yeah. And then it's like as okay, a black man, right? As a black man, and then you got somebody behind you, like you know. Well, if shit go down, like she gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if I'm having a fucked up day, I'll call her, and then my day will be good the rest of the day because I got the support. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fuck. But it's it's still as a man, it's still kind of hard. Like you said, you don't. It's kind of hard to open up because it's like you gotta be strong. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, you feel like you gotta be strong, but you know. Yeah, but if you again, if you got a supportive woman or a supportive person, it ain't even yeah. gonna matter. Like she ain't gonna look at you different if you start panicking. She's gonna understand. Yeah, but it's still mm. some days where like, <clears throat> like you know, I don't want to express like how hard it is. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah I, don't I don't, I don't want give that me to, some time. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that to be on her mental. Exactly. Mm. She dealing with, you know. Right. Having a whole human growing inside of her. Yeah, I, I could not see now. Again, you know, what I'm your saying? situation like, is different. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just right. talking about from my yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, your situation different. Bro. Yeah, uh, that's how. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's mine like is a whole nother, different. a whole like, nother level. It's a whole nother level, yeah. bro. You know, just wait like, till this dude, when that baby out. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm just ready for that to happen, bro. Mm. For real. Honestly, yo, Quan, it's it's funny, man. Like, I could honestly sit here. And pick your brain mm-hmm. for a minute, for real. I, I mean, I have a lot to say about this mm-hmm. mental health stuff because I've been through it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there any possibility we could get you on for a second episode? Sure. I mean, yeah. You I'm gonna make bring that big ass ring too? Oh like yeah, it. yeah. I this, like that shit. That's a that's a cat. Yeah, it's a hell cat. You know, I oh, like cats, okay. so you know that that that. You know, he do like but, um, cats a lot. Well, I love animals. You ever you heard like of animals? You ever heard of a cat lady? You take this damn cat. Yeah, but he said like, he like animals. animals in general. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you ever heard of a cat lady yes, who got yes, like thirty-seven yes, cats? Yes, 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 I have. Yeah, I like to feed stray cats, and you, you really know what I'm saying. That yeah, I, I don't mm-hmm. care. I don't, y'all laughing me or you want to? Uh, Scorpio, I believe. I'm not really into the horoscope thing. Me either. Me either. I don't believe it. Astrology shit. I don't believe it. None of that. He loves Leo shit. You know, so he has it on his arm. Mm. That's hilarious. No, is it on your arm? That's <laughs> so stupid. That's so goddamn. All right, so this dumb. is my political podcast, people. Um, bitch, we ahead. ain't done. <laughs> he's trying to get off. Why you trying to get off, ho? Where we at? I mean, we're probably about to no, wrap up a, because yeah, I, I, I want to. I want to. The reason I asked him that because I want to. I want to bring you back on mm-hmm. because I have a lot. I have a lot of questions that have already come up mm-hmm. that I really want to ask, and I think the people that listen to this podcast we really, really interested. And hearing your perspective on, it. yeah. So I, if you can come back next week, man. I mean, I I'll, I'll see what's up. Like, if you, you can't, know, let me know. What time you usually get I off think work? I could off at uh four. Oh, you, oh, you fine, yeah, nigga. You can make it, nigga. Yeah. Shit. I mean, now I mean, the audience is gonna pressure. They heard one time you get off. They're gonna be hitting your inbox and put yep. your Instagram out already. I mean, they I feel be fucking I, you up. You this, better come back on, nigga. <laughs> this subject is you know very important, and I like you yeah. Know, I want to go, and in. I feel like I'm just now starting to. Talk about get, it. Get not talk about it, but just get like beat it. Like not necessarily beat it, but like just get, get better control of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah. You know, I would I would love to come back on, you know. Excellent, man. You got appreciate to, having you. For, no, bro. Like we we appreciate that. I'd love to get even more on just your whole journey, man. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, you know, I've been in, in, in cr- crazy spots mentally where you know you've you've told me you you've even in your introduction. Mm-hmm. You talked about suicide survivor, bro. Mm-hmm. Like that that's why, yeah. bro. That's that's a that's, whole nother level. Like just being to the point to where you want to take your life. Bro, like I, yeah. if you were willing to talk about that, man, I know our because it helped me. Yeah. It, I think it can help some people, bro. Yeah, I've yeah, been like I said. I, I think been, you can help a lot of folks, bro. Yeah, I've been I've, so. like you know I have like a lot, lot, like a lot of experience with it because I've yeah. been dealing with depression since I was like in middle school. So, wow, you know, wow, wow, wow. I'm thirty three now. That's so, a long you know, time. Yeah. So you're you're and I'm just now starting to get. Like help, thanks to her, and again. that and that and that lets people Shout know out, out there Cody. that it's you know, there's no time limit on that, you right? Know? Right. There's no time limit. There's no time limit on getting better. There's no time limit on seeking help. Right. There's no time limit on none of that. And like I said, I think you'd be great to to, to kind of expand on that a little more. If you can mm-hmm. come back, we'd love to have you, man. Uh, when he come back, fuck all that. I'm yeah. with it. Yeah, you know. bet, bet, bet. Appreciate man. you, Quan. 
for sure, man. Shit, I think we should get off this thing, though, because, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Thank you so much for joining us again on another episode of the Mud Political Podcast, man. Hey, look, don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Google Play Store. Please subscribe. Like this motherfucker right here. You feel me? Give us five stars. Mm-hmm. You don't give if you give us if you don't if you give us four stars, like you a hater. Basically. Just give us five stars. Give us five stars, like, four stars. I'm inclined to believe you a hater. Just subscribe. You know, I don't care if you like I said, we do this once a week, and we'll see y'all next week. Yeah, you did. Peace.